New York State is the center of finance and commerce for the entire country and even much of the globe. And along with that world-class status comes a world-class court, the commercial division of the New York State Supreme Court. Hello, I'm Janet DeFiore, New York's Chief Judge, and I'd like to invite you to spend just a few minutes learning how the commercial division has transformed business litigation in New York State and made the state a preferred venue for complex business disputes. And you'll also hear from the late Chief Judge Judith Kay, the visionary who created the commercial division back in 1995, as well as my immediate predecessor, Jonathan Littman, who nurtured and guided the forum into the robust and renowned court that it is today. The commercial division is a model for the way we want all of our courts, civil and criminal, to function. In 1995, then Chief Judge Judith Kay established the commercial division of the New York State Supreme Court. New York law is so stable, so predictable, so sound and logical. It's the courts that make it that way. All of us feel that we have achieved the objective of a, an efficient, highly regarded commercial division. Businesses, even not-for-profit businesses, want to be before a tribunal that is fair, efficient, and knowledgeable. People from all over the world, businesses from all over the world, investors, really respect the opportunity the court provides for having the real expertise to adjudicate business matters. The commercial division judges do an outstanding job at sorting through both the complex legal issues they're facing and the complex factual issues. I practice on a regular basis in the commercial division and I think it's one of the best divisions of its type in the world. People who take disputes to the commercial division can expect a very responsive court. They can expect a court that is able to be flexible and adaptive to a changing situation in the litigation itself. Well, the commercial center of the world and our court should be uh, not only world class, but a place where everyone understands that they can come and see what happens, see the right way to resolve a commercial dispute. In 1995, when the commercial division first started, the prevailing attitude in the New York State courts were that there were too many cases in the court system and not enough money and that nothing could be done about it. What we envisioned 20 years ago was uh, staying apace of world change. I feel like my clients are going to get a fair shake and a good hearing uh, before a judge who is going to listen, be prepared, and be thoughtful about the outcome of the case. You can't ask really for anything more than that. I often recommend to clients that they specify New York as a choice of forum and New York law as a choice of law. And I do that with respect to international clients as well as uh, domestic clients. When we choose New York, we're going to get a smart judge, we're going to get a, a timely resolution of our dispute, and we're going to get a judge who doesn't waste our time. But usually as a plaintiff, you have some choices. And, and for us, uh, it was comforting to know that we had a court system that was familiar with the kinds of disputes that companies are involved with. They understand economics, they have experience with complicated contractual language, they uh, understand the importance of getting it right and, and following the rule of law. And I also know that I'm going to be uh, dealing with, with a deep, uh, history of commercial cases which lends some predictability to how my particular situation is going to be resolved. You have large commercial cases that involve a lot of lawyers, a lot of money, a lot of complicated issues, a lot of complicated issues of economics, sometimes of technology, uh, and you've got a structure that's designed to deal with that kind of case. You have people willing to always search for new and creative answers to problems. You have uh, rules that I think are very compatible to a quick and swift resolution to the issues. Litigation is a major cost of doing business. And when we encourage efficiency while providing justice, I think we make New York not just a great forum to resolve business disputes, but a great place to do business. Businesses, both domestic and foreign, need to know that when they choose to litigate in New York, they'll appear before a knowledgeable, diligent, and conscientious judge, 
in a forum with clearly defined and consistent rules, but one that is also innovative and responsive to evolving needs. Toward the end uh, of my career as a private practitioner, um, I unhesitatingly offered the commercial division of the New York Supreme Court as a good option for the disposition of important disputes. I've never encountered a counterparty who had an objection to the New York State commercial courts. Uh, they're so well respected among the nation's practitioners. You start out at a high level of common understanding and you get to the heart of the matter very quickly. And that's, for the litigants on both sides, whether you're the plaintiff or the defendant, that's a great uh, benefit. I think it's easier for a business person to know that there is a specialized commercial division that is comprised of those experienced in the commercial litigation context. What you want first and foremost are judges who understand what those disputes entail and can streamline the process so that you get a full and fair hearing in an efficient way. We have a little more flexibility, I think, in the commercial division to devote the additional time and effort to hopefully expeditiously and efficiently resolve the matters that are pending before us. So I see myself first initially as a mediator and then second as a facilitator and third as a decider, someone who decides the issues and just get it done and, and let them go on their way. Not everything necessarily has to rise to a battle of letters and legal papers. We can have a conversation. What's your problem? What's your problem? How can we sit down and resolve it? We want a predictable business law so that when people write contracts, when they enter into any kind of transaction, they know exactly what is going to happen. And if they have to go to court, they know what the result will be. We want certainty. We want judges that have expertise in, and understand uh, commercial disputes. We want judges who are creative and who will you know, force resolution. Well, I think they can expect um, professionalism and they can expect that their cases be given uh, you know, thorough uh, analysis and evaluation. We're not perfect, but we're trying to get as close to that model of perfection as we can. There's an advisory uh, committee that's always trying to improve. And whether we agree with it or not, we know that, that the goal is to make the commercial part better. The justices of the commercial division are committed to a constant process of self-improvement and are assisted in that process by a now permanent advisory council. I see that commercial division continually reinventing itself. If we do something wrong, we're going to find out about it. And that's, that's the positive uh, impact that the advisory council has. But we are surely not going to rest on our laurels, and we are never content with the status quo. The goal and mission throughout our court system is excellence. It is vitally important for New York to maintain a cost-effective and consistent form for complex business litigation. Over the past two years alone, the Commercial Division adopted rule changes proposed by the Advisory Council, including limited numbers of depositions and interrogatories, 25 or fewer, so as to streamline discovery, early pretrial consultations to encourage early settlement discussions, more timely and robust expert disclosure, parties must disclose expert witnesses within 30 days of completion of fact discovery. We decided that we would try to design an optional procedure and that rule enables parties to stipulate at the beginning of a case or before that for that matter that they're going to waive making certain kinds of motions, they're going to waive jury trials, they're not going to have punitive damages. We're always looking at whether it's new technology or new procedures, we're really trying to be responsive to the needs of the lawyers and their clients. Not innovation for innovation's sake, but be innovative in a way to respond to our business community, to respond to our business litigators, to encourage them to bring the disputes to New York. New York has become a model for other states. Other jurisdictions have come here and looked to see what you've accomplished and tried to do the same thing. The commercial division's contribution to the local, national, and global communities is celebrated. The American Bar Association's business law section has hailed the commercial division as a model for specialized business courts everywhere.
I've adopted some of the commercial division rules and apply them to my non-commercial division cases. Many international contracts already provide for rules of decision based on New York commercial law or, or laws that have been adopted by New York. I think I want everyone to know that we are not at all intimidated by interpreting French law, Japanese law. Litigants all over the world can look to the New York Commercial Division for a venue where uh, not only the complexities of a business dispute will be understood regardless of where the business dispute arises, but also the complexities of the interaction of various bodies of law will be understood. You have this body of decision law, which is great. You're not, that makes it predictable. Plus you have judges who have great familiarity with this kind of dispute, so they, it's, not, no, it's nothing new to them. To be able to come into um, a forum that has a, a solid track record, uh, well understood transparent processes, and uh, the right kind of expertise, I think is a, an enormous uh, a, attractive uh, uh, aspect for them. But the idea that you've got a diverse city that is working financially, is absolutely rewarding, particularly to someone like me. And when I look at the commercial division, I want to underscore, it's a diverse tribunal. And that says you can see someone that may have some life experiences like yours when you are standing up there arguing a case about X, Y, and Z. And that signals a lot. The reality is that um, the juries that you get in uh, New York County, where the commercial court are uh, surprisingly uh, sophisticated uh, about commercial issues. Uh, it's, it's a good venue for that. When corporate lawyers on a regular basis select New York law to be the form, what they are saying to the world is that we believe in the New York judicial system and in, and in that particular case they believe in the commercial division because it is viewed as an extraordinary division that is unprecedented uh, in the world. If you're a business, uh, a business like ours that's highly regulated, and appropriately so, um, you want to make sure that your ability to conduct business uh, against the legal framework is going to be fair, it's going to be appropriate, and New York's commercial division, um, from my experience, has always provided that, and that's really important um, to a business like Pfizer. Again, as I mentioned, we've certainly lost our fair share of cases in the commercial division, but nothing in any of those losses changes our view about these impressive characteristics of the commercial division. It's open-mindedness, it's conscientiousness, and it's integrity. that New York is the center of excellence for business litigation, dispute resolution. I think that people all over the world recognize that and that's why they come here. The commercial division is a model for the nation, a forum comprised of dedicated, informed judges who are provided with the resources to handle complex business disputes efficiently, effectively, consistently, and above all, fairly. I'm committed to ensuring that the commercial division remains a crown jewel in the New York State court system.